my name is Laura Nicolas and in this demo I'm going to show you how you can integrate Azure Defender on your Azure Arc Connected clusters using extensions. All of the automation and guidelines to build this demo can be found in the Azure Arc Jumpstart. Make sure to check out the description box below for all of the relevant links. In this scenario, I'll deploy the Azure Defender extension on a cluster API that is already onboarded onto Azure Arc. The extensions feature in Azure Arc enabled Kubernetes cluster allows the usage of Azure Resource Manager based API, CLI, and Azure Portal for the deployment of extension components. It will also provide lifecycle management capabilities, such as extension version upgrade for any extension that you may have deployed in your Azure Arc enabled cluster. In this case, we will focus on Azure Defender extension that will provide threat protection capabilities. The extension components will collect audit blocks and security telemetry in the cluster that will be aggregated in the log analytics workspace in Azure for further analysis. This will allow you to get security recommendations and alerts. As you can see, I already have a cluster API that is onboarded as an Azure Arc enabled cluster and is mapped to a resource group and a subscription. If we go to extensions, you can see that I have no extensions deployed on this cluster. And on the security tab, we get a recommendation that is to onboard the Azure Defender extension. So let's onboard this cluster onto Azure Defender. The first thing that I'm going to do is connect to the cluster and we will use the script that is provided as part of the jumpstart. For demo purposes, I'm going to be running each command one step at a time. The first thing that you need to do as part of this script is to export the environment variables that match your environment. Once this is done, we can continue to make sure that we have all of the necessary tooling for the script to run properly. The first prerequisite that needs to be met is that you need Home 3 installed and updated. If it's not installed on your running machine, the script will fix that for you. Next, we need to verify that you have the Azure CLI and the Azure Arc extension. If not, again, the script will install it and make sure that everything is up to date. This step can take a few minutes, so I'm going to speed up the process for the demo. Now we will clear every Helm chart that may be cached in the local machine. Now we need to make sure that the Azure Arc CLI extensions are updated. We need to make sure that the Kubernetes extension is installed and to the latest version for us to be able to deploy the Defender extension. Once that it's done, we can continue on to the next section, which will make sure again that all of the different extensions for Azure Arc are properly installed. Finally, we have to connect to your Azure environment using the service principle that you provided as part of the environment variables. And lastly, we will run the Azure CLI command that will deploy the Defender extension onto your Azure Arc connected cluster. Once this is done, we will go to the Azure portal and verify that everything is working properly and that we no longer have that warning in the security tab. If we go back to the Azure portal and select extensions, we have the extension for Defender pending. We refresh and now it's installed. We can now check on security and we will no longer have that recommendation to onboard Azure Defender as we already did. What we are going to do now is to simulate a threat and make sure that it pops up as an alert in this section so we can later on be aware of any possible threats in our clusters. To simulate an alert, go to the command line and run the following command. The expected response should be no resource found. Within around 30 minutes, Azure Defender will detect this activity and trigger a new security alert. If we go back to the Azure portal, you will see this either on the Azure Arc enabled resource or even on the Azure Security Center security alerts. So we have effectively detected an alert and we have been warned of a suspicious activity in our cluster. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving us a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.